Good evening everybody, Carl Mike here and I must not dash off quick because I'm going out for a quick ride with Graham I can't go far tonight, I've got to be within range of a computer in case there's a problem at work because I'm on call so we're just going to a local place that he'd not actually heard of before and he's decided to come on Woody, the 250 so I mustn't just accelerate away maybe, maybe once <laughs> Maybe one's just for fun. <laughs> so we're off to a place not too far away. It's a, I guess it's a village or a small town, I'm not sure which one, called Ripplingham, which is just uh, kind of southwest of Beverly. And um, just past there is a place that I want to go and seek out. A bit of a spooky place. And it's called Rakes. I think it's Rakes, the pronunciation, but Rakes Mausoleum, and it is what it says it is, it's a mausoleum, built by a chap called Robert Rakes, who was a banker in the 1800s, and he built it in 1818 for him to be buried in, and also for his family to be buried in after they died obviously not straight away and I say buried I guess in a mausoleum you're probably not really buried are you in a sarcophagus or whatever they call it but this place was uh, as I say built in 1818 he died about 20 years later he was actually from London originally his father was a chap called William uh, Rakes and he built a mausoleum in London but Robert decided he wanted to move up north well, why wouldn't you? You know, it's God's own country and all that. Um, and aside from that, I mean, it's not particularly special, I don't think. It's, um, it looks pretty impressive. I mean, as a grave for a two or three people, it's certainly bigger than absolutely necessary. It's got one rather dubious story around it. Dubious as in it shouldn't have happened, as in uh, rather not in it didn't happen, it absolutely did happen in 1960 somebody broke into it um, so they broke into the mausoleum where the graves were and for reasons best known to them they stole one of the skulls not sure which one but one of the Rakes' skulls was taken away and it was eventually found uh, and returned so hopefully no unquiet spirits, you know, if uh, Suffolk Andy's watching, don't want any of them. Um, so it was returned and then the place was bricked up basically and blocked up so that it, hopefully it couldn't have the same thing happen again. Now I've seen some pictures of it taken from kind of, I think probably nearly a hundred years ago and this mausoleum was in an open field. But it's no longer an open field. Mustn't, <laughs> mustn't dash away and leave Graham behind. Got to remember that. Yeah, it's no longer in an open field. It's now in a little woodland. So apparently, in summer is the hardest time to find it because the trees are all in leaf. Apparently, in winter, when there are no leaves on the trees, uh, you can spot it as you go past. But you'd have to be looking for it, it's not obvious apparently. So a bit of a hunt to do, to find the thing. I've lost him. <laughs> Got to remember, a single cylinder 250 doesn't accelerate quite as quick as a four cylinder 1050 <laughs> or 1043 there he is I'm quite tempted to get a little bike I wouldn't want to go down to the full on 125 little I think that's a bit too small but 250 or a 300 I reckon could be quite good fun when you can get things that are as light as that thing I don't know what the weight is on that Woody but I'm guessing probably about 100, 150 kilos, maybe less. 
He says it's like riding a BMX with an engine. I mean, that could be a laugh. The 500 I had was great fun. Unfortunately, it got bent rather badly. And still waiting for the insurance to be settled. After all this time, nearly a year and a half now, just down here is where I did uh, quite an early vlog. I think it was on the XJ6 at the time where they had protesters who were protesting against fracking just down here and uh, I don't think the protesters won but there is no fracking they built the whole thing up they were all kind of pipes and tubes and it looked like a mini Gotham City to try and do all, whatever they were doing the gas or oil extraction but I guess they failed because about a year later they all, all that stuff got kind of dismantled again it all got taken down and uh, well it's here now, it's now selling free range eggs so it was just there and as you can see it's now grass where it had a little bit of concrete and gravel and that's all gone now I think we're getting close I think it's those trees over there. Got to find somewhere to park the motorcycle. Where it won't get knocked over by a boy racer. And then we can go exploring in the spooky forest. Think we're all right here? How far are we going? Ooh, could be as much as a hundred yards. <laughs> so off we're heading now to the mausoleum Graham just asked me what a mausoleum is and I had to explain to him it's where, where they keep the dead people he, uh, he seemed a bit shocked <clears throat> well the last time I got dragged into some woodland like this I got eaten alive I was the main course <laughs> I'm not planning anything like that today. <laughs> I haven't told him about the skull yet. Well, we've trekked through the woods and it feels like we should talk quietly now which is why I'm talking kind of quietly now we are technically on consecrated ground um, which is the rakes burial ground I guess um, I consecrated it after the mausoleum was put up so let me show you around this place is weird spooky kind of neat
Just a quick video there, hope you liked it. Just a, an interesting little place to come and see that's not far away from home. And certainly spooky. I can imagine that if you're here late at night, it would be even spookier. Although the camera here at the minute will be brightening this up no end. It is actually slightly dark here. Just picking up my tripod that I left behind. So there it is, the mausoleum. I hope you enjoyed it. One of the more weird ones for you. Quite interesting. I hope. <laughs> I found it interesting. I don't know whether you did or not. So thank you all for watching. Heading back to the bikes now because I left them at the side of a road in a place that isn't exactly perfect. So thanks for watching. Ride safe. And I'll talk to you all again soon. <laughs>